With the score of 287, the silver medal for low amateur goes to Caitlin Papp from Austin, Texas. My dad got me into golf. He used to play a lot when he was younger in the Navy. The golf course was just like a half a mile away from our base house. I would just take her over there for fun putting in the evening, just to burn some energy and have some fun. And from there, it just sort of grew and blossomed gradually with her desire to get better and to compete. They would stay out until her lips turned blue. It was <laughs> good swing. She would just spend hours doing it because she wanted to get better. Plant that foot hard into the ground, right? End up in your low wide base. Yeah. Excellent. I love it. Caitlin's been coming for a couple of years. With golfers, we try to do a lot of explosive movements because the swing is so explosive. My strength has improved a lot and I've been trying to increase my swing speed. And I feel like that was something in my game that was missing. And so training my body the right way, I think has really helped my golf game. Kristen and I have been friends since we were both in middle school. We met at a junior golf tournament. I ended up going to the same high school as her, and so we were on the high school golf team together. We kind of do everything together when we're both home, always playing together, practicing together, and I think it's great because we both push each other to be better. Girls are all finished. Great job. Great Thank job. You. This is Harley. The yellow one is B, like a bumblebee and the one with the camo collar is Cash. Ever since Tony and I have been married, we've, we've had dogs, so the girls have grown up with dogs. Oh, that's his sister's dog, Bubba. He's a puppy. Oh, you're so little. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh. Ah. <laughs> I met Jake in high school. We were both on the golf team at the time. It didn't work for us to get together yet, but then when I came back from playing on the mini tours after I graduated, it was the perfect time. So yeah, we got together and we've been together ever since. It's been awesome. I think internally I just kept thinking, oh my gosh, I think it's happening. <laughs> I think it's happening. We were both pretty nervous. I actually don't really remember what exactly he said <laughs> when he was on one knee because I was just shaking and so excited. It was just so much excitement that I, I couldn't even really think. I mean, I, I kind of blacked out a little bit. They kind of balance each other. Jake is more of an extrovert, and Caitlin's definitely an introvert, so it's, it's kind of nice to see the balance. Both of us are very competitive. We play golf probably once or twice a week, even though she beats me almost every time now. <laughs> You're so good. <laughs> Everything from fishing to golf, we play a lot of ping pong. We have a great time. I've caught one fish here. Just like the ball skipping, there's a little bit of, there's a little bit of com competition here, so. Oh my oh, God! Oh, it's a fish! It's a fish! <laughs> I caught the fish, and I definitely rubbed it in a little bit, because <laughs> that's the first time I've won in a while. <laughs> it's part of what makes her such a good golfer. She cares so much, and she's tough. Whether it's golf, our relationship, I mean, I know that there's, she'll always have my back. We were in Coach Murphy's office talking, and she said, uh, excuse me, do you mind if I go down the hall? So she went down the hall and comes back with a UT t-shirt and a UT hat, and we're like, yeah! So that's, that's kind of how she committed. When I took a visit to UT, I fell in love with the campus and the practice facilities, and I love the city of Austin, and I knew I didn't want to leave. Austin became her home. We had moved so many times. And, you know, her sense of what, what is home? You know, home is the next move and Austin was like her first home. As you can see here, this is our Hall of Honor that was recently built. This is our most recent Big 12 championship. We won this event in 2019. If you want to play well, you look at what Pappy's doing. <laughs> She's practicing every day. She's working hard. That's how she leads the team, is her work ethic. It's funny, sometimes she gets angry, she's like, <laughs> so I think that's really funny when I see her do that because she's not usually like never angry or anything. Yeah, uh -huh. So I laugh uh -huh. when she does that. But I'm just very competitive. <laughs> yeah. And it shows she likes, on the course. <laughs> she likes to, to be good. 
She was a great player when she arrived and, and she's uh, incrementally improved her game in different areas to the point where she can top 10 in a U.S. Open. The U.S. Open in December was just surreal. What How about that? By tap. He says, I'm not going away. There's a little history on the line for me. Yeah, surreal is a correct word. <laughs> Watching her at the U.S. Open was terrifying, and it was so fun at the same time. All pars, just one bogey for Caitlin, and another one has wow. eyes of going down. It was nice to see all of the thousands of hours that she had put in was like, yeah, this is it. When we saw her name get on the board for the first time, I think everyone's cameras were out. I think people were crying. It was like, she said, this is the moment. Wow. Surprise. How about finishing with a birdie? Yeah. How about yeah. it? <laughs> that birdie on 18, it, it, it captured, it's who she is. She's a fighter. She never quits. That's the and first her. crack of a smile we've seen. She is all business like. <laughs> You're going to get me emotional here. Um, for her to be recognized for her hard work and her amazing play. Yeah, that birdie at, on 18 was was definitely something special to, to cap off just an incredible week. I think it proved to me that I can hang with the best players in the world. Because I, I think I always knew I had the ability, but just to be able to do it, I think meant a lot to me mentally. And a very promising young golfer with a very good short game here. I think as someone who's who's gone through this golf journey myself. My dad was a professional golfer for 10 years. Beginning a chapter that we both love. Not everyone gets to live out their dreams and just being beside her while she lives out hers is something that's super exciting.